I must have been about 10 when I first made my little clay sculpture. Um, I think it left me wanting to work in 3D thereafter because although I had been drawing little female figures before, I think I found 3D much, much easier and much more me. This is an early stage, basically started with some sausages, twisted them into position, and then now I'm just adding clay and taking off. So take off, put on, just wherever it feels right. There's no real sense to it, it's just working very instinctively with this fairly sticky clay. So I'll be working on it just to sort of make the forms work-ish, not worrying about it at all, adding on, taking off, and then you know, I can make any decision I like at this stage. It's, clay is wonderful in allowing you to change your mind. I could make it a sitting figure and just twist it into a sitting figure position if I wanted to, if I decided that was a good idea. I don't need to do drawing because I'm sort of drawing in the sculpture. So if I think uh, the line needs to go that way, I can rapidly make the line, you know, go that way if I want it to be a fuller line. You can imagine if I was working in pe with a pencil, I'd have to be rubbing out and working again. I can just add it on and it's actually there. And then of course I can turn it round and decide whether it works from here as well. With the, I, drawing just doesn't work for me. I do this without planning. I can just put it on and say, is that better than it was before? Yes, leave it on. If it's not, change it. If you were a craft person, you're aiming for something that is very specific and repeatable. But if you're an artist, you're aiming for something that happens between you and the piece of work. And in my case, it's between me and the piece of clay. When I finish the piece, I spend a lot of time working on the surface to try and get the surface right. And I'm thinking about what it'll look like in the bronze at that stage. So quite a lot of smoothing goes on. But once I've done that, I hollow the piece out. I hollow it out so that it can be dried and fired. I want my pieces to be fired so that I can keep them for a long period of time so that I can consider whether they should be cast in bronze or not. Bronze casting is horribly expensive process and I don't, I can't afford to just have everything cast and you can't have wet clay sitting there waiting to be cast indefinitely. I, I know when it's finished when I can't see anything wrong with it which sounds very negative but it's, it is true so I come in here unwrap the piece stand back and just turn it round and say do a little count is there anything wrong with it if there's nothing wrong with it it's sort of finished I'm very, very lucky that the, my local foundry bring the work to me when, when it's finished. We pop it on this kitchen table and we have a look at it together. And I have to say there's a little bit of anxiety because the colour, the patination makes a huge difference to how the piece looks. Mostly it's perfect and I am delighted because the bronze has a different, a very different and fuller sense of form. I love the challenge of making a living from being an artist. You know, people say, people say, people say, I really love your work. It's very gratifying, but it's only when they actually buy it that you know they really love your work. <laughs>